You know, all it takes is one exciting thing to inspire a party idea. You know, I've got a birthday party that I've got to throw. Well, it's really just a dinner, and it's for a friend who really loves antiques, and so I thought it would be fun to set the table uh, with some finds, just go out and see what I can come up with to do an entire table. So I'm just out on the prowl, um, don't really have any ideas, I'm just going from booth to booth and just see what kind of deals I can find. Now, oh, look at these amethyst glasses over here. Sometimes these are called pink. Well, they are calling them pink goblets. A set of six. A set of six for 15 bucks. And with 15% off, uh, that's not too bad. You know, when I create a tablescape, I really like to start with a theme. So I may have discovered my theme here. So we'll see what we can find. Um, I know there's some a lot of vintage linen around here, so surely I can find something that'll work with this. Good looking vintage napkins of all colors. These colors sure look good. They're nice and bright. Well, the colors would probably work with four of them for 28 bucks and I'm looking for six. So maybe, you know, I think sometimes it's easier to find a tablecloth and then match a solid napkin with it. This is pretty swell here. From a color standpoint, this looks, this looks really nice. This is a large tablecloth with blue flowers, pink vines, $22.50. Hmm. Fold this out here and see, I like the design on it a lot. Looks like it's in good shape. Let's just see what one of the glasses looks like on it. So if I had a plate that would pop, you know, I mean, now if, if I go with this tablecloth, which could be actually a topper on top of a larger round table. Um, so I'm getting there. Let's just look at the size of this, this cloth for just a moment. Uh, it's condition. It's got a nice hemmed edge. It does have a little bit of staining, but um, that may be able to be dealt with or covered up. So, um, yeah, I like it a lot. It's got, it's very classic looking, very springy. I think, you know, some fiesta wear might be really kind of fun. We need something bold to pop. And there's a lot of color choices with that. So I'm gonna just set this aside a moment. So I picked these different colors because they kind of reminded me of the colors that were in this piece of cloth here. So let's see what's gonna look the best out of these fabric out here. That's, that works. It's kind of this color here, but it's a little dead. The green's pretty perky. Um, no, that doesn't work at all. It's way too yellow, too yellow of a green. Um, it's too purple. That's pretty good. So, you know, I could go with this rose-colored um, plate or the green plate. Uh, either one of those would work here. So what I need to do is try to find a dinner plate that's one of these colors. I'm leaning more toward the rose. And then I could go with just about any color of napkin that I find here, a solid, probably a blue, a pale blue napkin. I may even have some of those I can use. And then I could just use clear vases or maybe some, um, you know, some pink or amethyst colored glasses um, of a different shape, little bud vases down the middle of the table, and then pick out a flower that's pale pink like this, maybe hyacinths or um, something, some sort of nice spring flower that could work with it. would be really quite beautiful. And since this is actually gonna be really a garden party out in one of the octagons at the farm, then it's all painted white on the inside or sort of whitewashed. Um, you know, I think it's gonna be really a beautiful party, particularly when we get all the lights on the table and lights in the handmade chandelier. 
If you're enjoying these ideas on style, check in with us regularly. Tell a friend about it and subscribe to eHow Home.